Hi guys, welcome along. Here's my five top tips for running in cold weather. This is tip number one. It was going to be tip number five, but I brought it forward because I think this is probably one of the most important things. If it is icy, do not run. Simple as that. If it's icy, do not run. At the end of the day, your goal is to get to the start line fit, well, and ready to race. And you ain't going to do that if you slip on the ice and break something. Breaking a leg, breaking an arm, elbow, neck, shoulder, head, whatever it is, don't even go down that route. If it's icy, don't be running at all. But if you are out and you do hit an icy patch, slow down, walk, take smaller steps, keep your balance. But I'll repeat it, if it's icy, don't run. Go to the gym, use the treadmill like I'm going to do today. Just don't be running on ice. Tip number two, dress in layers. Wearing multiple layers of clothes will help you regulate your body temperature and retain heat. Make sure to wear a base layer that is wicking so it draws the moisture away from your skin. At the end of the day, it's better to be too warm than too cold. Because if you've got layers on, you can take layers off to cool yourself down. But once you get cold, it is very hard to get warmed up again. Tip number three, keep your extremities covered up. Your hands, your head, your legs, Wear running tights, they don't look too silly, nobody's judging you. Put tights on, keep your legs covered, don't expose any skin, make sure your fingers are warm, make sure you've got some good socks on to keep your toes warm. And if your hands get too cold, consider getting some hand warmers to put inside your gloves. Tip number four, I've said this time and time again on most of my videos, don't forget to warm up properly. At the end of the day, cold muscles are more likely to get injured. So be sure to spend a, quite a bit of time warming up before you get on your session. This can involve running slowly, a light jog, star jumps, skipping, anything to raise the body temperature, to get the blood flowing and to actually get those muscles and tendons ready for the hard work of the session. Remember, most injuries occur because we don't warm up correctly. So make sure you are warming up effectively before you do that run. There are plenty of videos out there on YouTube to give you some great warm-up routines. And finally, number five, stay hydrated. We always think about keeping hydrated when we're out in the sunshine, but it's equally important to keep hydrated when we're out running in the cold. So be sure to take a bottle of water with you or your favorite isotonic and just sip to thirst. Keep hydrated in the sun and in the cold. Thanks for watching. I hope you find those five tips of use. If you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe on the button below. Turn on the bell notifications. And if you can give this video a thumbs up, that will be absolutely great. I will see you next time. Hopefully when it's a little bit warmer.